How now, brown cap, fee fi fo fum. Get my loafers. I feel like I'm always on this side. Should we switch it up? This is my better side. Liberty mutual. Mutual. Li line. Liberty, liberty, liberty <laughs> mutual. What are you drinking on this fine, thirsty Thursday? Mm, mm. I am drinking a amino acid filled whey protein. It smells yes. like straight up dirt. What are you drinking? Iced espresso. It's actually very good, just for the record. Hey, what's going on guys? Sean and Jill O'Connor. We work with young adults and we are excited to bring the fifth episode of Thirsty Thursdays to you right now. There's been a lot going on this past week. We've been trying to narrow it down. Man, what, what do we feel like we need to share? And this morning I just felt like it kind of got dwindled down to, to this. Something that I've recognized in myself and I've kind of dealt with at different times is this idea of worshiping God and, and things that hinder my ability to worship God. During this time, obviously, of, of quarantine and being uh, isolated, I've had moments of worship where it's been awesome and then moments of just isolation and just kind of feel, feeling like I'm in a desert, feeling like, God, where are you? There's just kind of been hot and cold connection. Still trying to do our six o'clock in the mornings, has, hasn't been perfect, mm -hmm. um, but still trying to pursue God in that way. Just felt like God revealed to me some of the hindrances that I have with being able to fully worship. I felt like he, he just put the song in my head, Communion by Maverick City Music, and it just hit me in a new way. Um, and I realized that there are several things that I thought I've dealt with as far as insecurities uh, that, that are barriers between me and God when I'm trying to fully encounter Him. When I'm trying to allow myself to fully be with God, there are things that stop me from doing that. And a lot of times I worry about what I look like. Uh, I worry about, if I'm honest, about what I sound like. I worry what other people think of me while I'm worshiping or how I'm worshiping. Uh, I, I worry about, am I being authentic and true to myself or am I doing this for a show or, or why did I react that way? Why did I do that? And then I start thinking I'm in my head and then I start thinking, oh no, I'm in my head. And, and it's like this downward spiral. And I caught myself this morning of, I'm alone in my living room and I'm playing the song and I'm wrestling with, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to put my hands up right that's kind of cliche and i put up these walls that don't allow me to fully experience jesus with all of me like with who i am and i don't like that because i've tasted and seen how beautiful it can be when i just am fully willing to uh give myself to him in everything when i don't care what i look like or what other people think and as sean was sharing this morning just that vulnerability of what is hindering me from leaning in and just worshiping God without a care. Um, I felt like God was really gracious and he gave me this picture of a bride walking down the aisle um, to her husband, her future husband, and she has this veil over her. And this picture that this veil is covering her, yes, but, but when she gets up there and she's finally with her husband and they're about to have this bond of unity in marriage the veil gets moved off of her head and she sees him for the first time and nothing matters in the world it's just them and it's just this intimate bond and I felt like that was just this beautiful picture of God and your relationship with him and so much we have the veil over us we have our fears we have the veil of insecurity we have the veil of past mistakes everything um, shame and guilt. shame yes all those things and and yet God's there he's at, at the end and he just wants us to come and as we come the veil gets lifted and he just sees us and he invites us into this sacred bond this unity this intimacy that nothing else matters it doesn't matter what you're thinking what you're feeling I mean those matter but I mean what you're bringing to the altar it doesn't matter the most important thing is that you come and you allow God to move that veil back and that just blessed my heart this morning as I thought of what a sacred thing. All I have to do is just come. This week, may you encounter Holy Spirit with all your emotions and all of your feelings, not hindered by any insecurities, shame, or guilt. We just bless you with sacred moments. May you lean in and feel Him and know Him. 
when you get to the end of the altar and you're seeing him face to face, would you just lean in and worship him? Care about you. Thanks for tuning in. To this fifth thirsty Thursday. Dilly dilly.